Hello, my name is Zoltan. I work at BIT on dependency management, and I also uh, am the lead maintainer of uh, the, one of the most popular JavaScript package managers called uh, PNPM. Today I want uh, to talk about some of the problems uh, that modern uh, monorepo managers have and how BIT um, removes some of the bottlenecks and uh, simplifies work with multiple packages. Here I created a, a simple workspace managed by npm. It has two workspace packages. One that has Lodash in its dependencies and another one that has Ramda in its dependencies. Now I will run npm install to install all the dependencies in the workspace. And as you can see, npm created a single node modules in this workspace, which contains both Lodash and Ramda. Now you can see that uh, even though it uses Ramda, only has Ramda in its dependencies, I have I am importing both Ramda and Lodash from here. Maybe I have just forgotten that I don't have Lodash, Lodash in, in the dependencies. Um, so clearly this code should fail, right? Because this package doesn't have um, Lodash in the dependencies. Let's try. No, for some reason it worked. The reason for that is of course because uh, Node doesn't really care about what is in package JSON. It will look for the first Node modules folder and it will see that it contains uh, both Lodash and Ramda, so this code will work. This is a very dangerous situation because uh, when it will it will work locally, but once you publish it to the registry and someone will install it, this code will will break because because uh, npm will not install Lodash with this dependency with this package. And also uh, another scenario might be that the project where you install Ramda will already have Lodash and it will work, but it might use another version, another major version of Lodash. And uh, it's even a more dangerous situation because it might work today, but then the project will uh, update Lodash. But uh, this package was written uh, with Lodash uh, version 4 and it might break and it will be really hard to understand why why the, the package stopped working. So to overcome this issue with phantom dependencies, so dependencies that are not in package JSON but are in code are used in code um, anyway, uh, the, you have several options. One of the options is to use uh, linting. So the ESLint has some rules. Uh, that check for such import statements. And another solution is to use uh, pnpm or yarn instead of npm because uh, they are um, creating a different node module structure. Let me show you uh, on, the, uh, on, um, on pnpm how it works. So I will remove the node modules that was created by npm and as you can see that this uh, workspace is already configured to work with pnpm so i can run npm install and let's look at the root node modules so as you can see pnpm did not hoist ramda and lodash here instead it created dedicated node modules folders for these two packages and um, the package that uses 
uh, that has only uh, run date dependency in its dependencies has a mod modules that only has Ramda in, in, in it. So now if I run its uh, index.js file, it fails, right? Because it cannot find Wordlash. So if I comment this code out, it works. Okay, but this is only one of the issues uh, that you might get in, uh, in a workspace, in a npm or pnpm workspace. Another issue might be that you had some tests. Uh, Where, like, you have some tests uh, that use uh, Wadash, right? And you added Wadash as a dev dependency. So Now Wadash is uh, uh, also installed in, in node modules and this code works. However, you use Wadash in runtime code uh, and it works locally because um, the dependencies are installed locally. But once you will install it as a dependency in another project, a lot of will not be installed, so you you get the same issue that uh, you had previously. I guess uh, for this there are also linking issue, uh, linking rules in ESLint to to overcome this issue. But uh, I believe there is no currently built-in solution for this in package managers. However, Bit has you covered here in both scenarios and let me show you how um, let's create a bit workspace oh no no um, Now let's create a new bit workspace and let's add some components to it. Users, Wadash. As you can see, in a bit workspace, you don't have any packages on files. But somehow, bit knows which uh, components use which dependencies. This is possible because uh, uses, uh, bit uses code analysis to find any import statements and uh, it creates packages on file uh, packages on files dynamically when publishing uh, your components so uh, i uh, ran bit status here you can see it a bit printed uh, me the list of missing uh, packages so uh, react 
is not installed even though React is used in the composition file. Let's remove the composition file. We will not uh, create React components. This will be just a backend Node.js tool. Okay, so now I will add some import statements to the runtime code. So I add import Lambda here, and I will add import Lambdash. In this component. So as you can see, uh, Git has automatically detected which files uh, require which packages. All I can do now is install the missing packages. Unlike in a uh, in a npm workspace, I don't really care uh, which pack which uh, packages uh, require which dependencies. I just install all the missing packages in the workspace, and Git can handle everything by its own. So it hoists everything um, like npm does, but we don't really care because the generated packages on files will be correct. And you can see uh, how will the generated packages on file look like by running bit show. Okay, as you can see in the dependencies, there is Lodash. Well, the, uh, the uses Lodash uh, com component. And there is, a, and there will be ram Ramda in the, in the packages on, of the uses Ramda component. Now, it, this uh, component also has some tests. And if I uh, import Lodash in this test, there is nothing additional I should do because Lodash is already uh, in the dependencies of the uh, workspace. And uh, Bit knows how to detect this new import statement, and it's no, it knows to detect that it's only a dev dependency. So as you can see now, Lodash is in the dev dependencies of this uh, component, and. I will never be in a situation when I, uh, in which I mix up prod dependencies and dev dependencies because a bit automatically will uh, move around the packages. So if I uh, also add Lodash to the runtime code, so now Lodash is both used, both used in the runtime code and, and in the tests. So it needs to be a prod dependency. And you can see that this has, bit has detected that and moved uh, Lodash to the prod dependencies. Um, so we, we don't have packages on files, individual packages on files for components, but a bit does uh, keep track 
uh, but it keeps track of the versions of the dependencies. So there is a single place in the workspace where all the dependencies are uh, placed at. As you can see here in the workspace JSONC, there is a configuration for the dependency resolver aspect, and here we have the policies for dependencies. The here we have the Lodash version specified and the round version specified. So this is very, very good because in a uh, in a NPM workspace, you have when you have like hundreds of uh, workspace packages or components, uh, you have hundreds pack of packages on files, and you need to duplicate these dependencies in every package. And then you need some some tooling uh, to synchronize the different versions uh, because you you don't want uh, ten or twenty different versions of React in your workspace. You you want one React version. In in a bit workspace, this is not a problem because there is a single place. Uh, for the dependency versions and uh, bit will dynamically add the, that versions to your uh, packages on files. Also, you can you can have some uh, variations. Like sometimes you do need different versions of dependencies. In that case, you uh, you may create some variants um, in this section. Basically, I can uh, create a variant for uh, <coughs> uses Rambda. And I can tell it to install. Uh, Ramda version 27 for uses Ramda. Oh, I didn't specify the path correctly, so it's uh, my scope. This is Ramda. Okay, so um, yeah, it removed, it just replaced Ramda with this version because Ramda is used only by uh, uses Ramda. Let's also import it in uses Lodash. So now you can see that we have uh, two different versions of Ramda. One is hoisted, one is inside use Ram uses Ramda. And I can show it. So uh, uses Ramda uses Ramda version 27 and uses Lodash will use Ramda version 028. Right. So uh, as you can see, 
bit uh, removes a lot of the micromanagement that you would have with a traditional workspace try it out and enjoy it thanks for your attention